108 and verse 3. Psalm 103, sorry. Psalm 103 and verse 20. Psalm 103 and verse 20. The Bible says, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, ye is angels that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hearkening unto the voice of his word. I take it again. Amen. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, ye is angels that excel in strength, that uh, uh, that do his commandment and hearkening unto the voice of his word. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. That's a good way to start this teaching, this second path. Amen and amen. You need to know that God has angels. Amen. And you need to know, child of God, that the angels that God has, they always excel in strength. They, are nev they never de deplete in, in strength to make things happen. So when you find out that there is, a, there is an angel that is not doing what he's supposed to do, it's not because his strength is being depleted or is reducing. It's because you are not making full or you making full of the angels God has sent into your life. I pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that you begin to allow angels to fulfill their ministry in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The next thing you must know about angels is that they will always do God's commandments. They will not do the commandments of, of man. They will not do what the devil desire. They will only do what God desire. Amen. And that's the reason why you're going to find out that they will always hearken. They will always hearken. King James used the word hearkening. Continuous present tense. So they are hearkening today. They will hearken tomorrow. They will hearken to next tomorrow. Amen. In that sense, they are very obedient servants. All right. To, to God Almighty. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. They are very loyal. They can never turn their back to what God has or what God wants. I pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. They're going to allow angels to fill their commission and their ministry in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. That's why God has told you and I that he has given his angels charge over you to protect you and I. Amen. Turn your Bible to me, with me to the book of Psalms, Psalm 91 and verse 11. Psalm 91 and verse 11, the Bible says, The Lord will give his angels charge, amen, charge of you to protect you in all your ways. King James will say, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all your ways. In essence, with the presence of angels round about you, your life is secure. Let me hear an amen now. Let me hear an amen now. So angels are giving charge over you. God has sent them to go and see to it that your life is protected by day and night. Praise the name of the Lord. So I realize that some of the prayer we pray as believers, we pray them out of fear because we feel we are vulnerable, we are not protected. God's angels are around about us to see to it that our future, has, our future is secure. And the Bible says they are, they are not only just to secure us, they are to see to it that all, every step of the way, every step we take in life, all right, are covered by him. Praise the might by them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A good example, child of God, is when the president comes into a country or into a state. Let's take our country for an example. The president of this country wants to go into a state to commission a particular project. Do you realize that about 12, I mean 12 or 24 hours before that time, all right, the military system in that state, as it were, all right, we go on a road sweep. They you go on the, what did I call it now? Sweeping. All right? It's not physical sweeping of the road. They go to sense how secure the road the president convoy will take is. They go to get rid of all right bombs, explosive on that path. They so they will walk through the length and breadth from the airport to where it's going to stay. That to the place is going to commission. And you're going to realize again on the day of the commission, you're going to realize that military men or policemen will be placed at intervals. All right, even before the arrival of the plane to that land. Amen. So this military system, as it were, the physical, are uh, also in the realm of the supernatural. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Don't forget that, amen. Man cannot do anything until it's given to him from above. So the system man obeys, all right, is a copy of what is happening in the heavenly realm. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says that God has given his angels charge for over you and I to see to it that every step we take are protected. Every step of the way that we take, all right, are what? Are protected. The Bible says, and they are to keep us in all our ways. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. They are to do what now? Keep us in all our ways. So, everywhere you find yourself, you must be conscious of who you are and the security system in the realm of the spirit that covers you up. Let me hear victorious. Amen. 
let me hear you victorious amen now so what are angels child of god what are angels angels are heavenly beings angels are heavenly beings amen who serve as messengers of god and who are guidians of human beings right for three or four things angels are heavenly beings angels are heavenly beings angels are heavenly beings number one who serve as messengers of god they are not your messenger they are god's messenger number two amen and they are to see to it that human beings are well secured amen they are to guide you and i praise the mighty name of the lord jesus christ let me hear victorious amen let me hear victorious amen and i told us the last time when we are here that you see if you search your scriptures to find a number of time lucifer satan devil demons principalities have been named oh you're right and you count the number of time angel the word angel is you're going to realize that that the name the, the, i mean that word angel appears over 250 times in the bible much more than the time the devil the i mean lucifer satan demons are mentioned so if god is repeating angels over and over don't you think that he wants us to pay attention to their ministry in, their, in our life he wants us to pay attention over 250 times praise the name of the lord jesus christ may you begin begin to allow the ministry of angels to be well fulfilled in your life in the mighty name of jesus let your amen turn down now let your amen turn down now i said let your amen turn down now and i remember i told us the last time when we are here from the book of hebrews chapter 13 and verse 2 hebrews chapter 13 and verse 2 remember that the bible says you and i must be careful you see because when you become too canal as a believer and you don't know the ministry of angels you might have missed them in a taxi you might have missed them at a bus stop you might have missed them on a queue the bible says in the book of um, hebrews chapter 13 and verse 2 the bible says be not forgetful to entertain to entertain strangers and the bible says oh, who are these strangers the bible tells us for thereby some have entertained angels unawares some have entertained angels unawares and i remember i told us this about abraham many times abraham was a person that was conscious about the presence of angels praise the mighty name of lord when god was about to go destroy some and gomorrah praise the mighty name of lord he came onto that came into onto, onto the earth in that dimension and abraham beckoned on these three men to come and dine with him for the night they never wanted to stay but he beckoned on them praise the mighty name of lord. and that beckoning turned his life around did what now turn his life around praise the mighty name of the lord in fact there's several times that you're going to realize that abraham beckoned on angels all right to come and die with him his lives change and the, i mean and his family's life change amen praise the mighty name of the lord it was on such an encounter when he entertained angels after they had eaten amen that they told him that your wife is going to give birth by this time next year remember that now Anna had block houses. Abraham lived throughout his lifetime in tents. And you know tents are not bulletproof. They are not soundproofs. So you can be speaking here and somebody will hear you outside. So Sarah overheard when the angel said she's going to give birth. And you go know it. But to the extent that she smiled and she laughed. And her laughter was heard even by the angels that were dining with Abraham. And because of that, what did they say? Because she has laughed. What was the name of the child? Laughter. But what am I trying to say? If Abraham had not encountered or entertained angels, maybe, maybe that laughter would not have been battered. Maybe Isaac would have come some other time. And don't forget, they've been waiting for this miracle all along. Amen. But it came to pass. That prophetic word came to pass by a physical action. Exactly now. So what are we saying, child of God? Here it is now. When a prophetic word wants to come to pass, you must be sensitive to make, make sure you know how it's going to manifest for every prophetic work God has given to you and I we must be sensitive to know the pattern the way that God will want to make them happen in our life and in the name of Lord Jesus Christ we will not miss angelic ministration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ praise the mighty name of the Lord so that was how Isaac was battered and the next one was how Abraham was used to deliver Lot and his family the same encounter the same angelic encounter Amen. So you saw what I'm trying to say. If you look at everybody, all right, that comes around you as an enemy, as I know, as because you see in Africa, we see every stranger now as an enemy. We are so suspicious. God said we should be careful. You see, because you may be missing an angel's ministration because you are carried away with 419. You are carried away with kidnappers. Is that clear? You, may be, you must be careful. You and I must be careful. We must treat people well. 
praise the name of the Lord. That singular encounter may be an angelic encounter in your life. That we fulfill a prophetic word that has been lingering for long. I pray in the mighty name of the Lord that you no longer miss angelic encounters in the mighty name of Jesus. May you become sensitive in your spirit, man, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So may you become sensitive in your spirit, man, in the name of Jesus Christ. When a person that experienced an angelic encounter in a bodily form, amen. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Was Joshua when they got to the wall of Jericho and they want to bring down the wall of Jericho? They saw a being, they saw a man, and then he moved over to the man and he asked the man are you for us or you're against us and the man told him right away i'm not for you neither am i for your enemy but you and i know that person was an angelic being giving them the strategy to win in the battle for they are praise the mighty name of the lord i pray in the name of lord jesus christ that your spiritual antenna will begin to sense angelic presence in the name of jesus praise the mighty name of the lord let me hear victorious amen let me a victorious amen now. May you begin to sense angelic presence in Jesus' name. As I said earlier on, we are more conscious about demonic presence than angelic presence, even believers. And when you are conscious about demonic witchcraft presence around about you, you will be plagued with fear. You will be plagued with, uh, um, with timidity. You will become vulnerable. You will become very, very fearful. But you see, when you know those who are for you, as we saw again, the third example, an example of Elisha and Gehazi. You remember that example we saw the last time? Praise the name of the Lord. When the host came to come and arrest Elijah, Elisha, amen. And the only person Gehazi could see are the host that has encamped around them over the mountain. And then the prophet told him, he said, God, open the eyes of this man, the way I'm praying for you right away, so that you will see angelic protection. And God unveiled the eyes of Gehazi. And he saw the host of heaven, angels, that were more in number than those who had come to arrest his master. So I pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, may your eyes be open to see angels. I said, may your eyes be open to see angels. When your eyes are open to see angels, you become bolder. Fear will depart. In praise the name of the Lord. You will feel secure. Are you with me, church? You will feel secure. You will feel encouraged. You will know that the path you are taking in life with it is a path of victory. May you no longer become vulnerable in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen turn down. I say, let your amen turn down. So please don't be confused. Don't be confused at all. Angels are made by God to become messengers of Him. Amen. They are messengers of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And if they are messengers of God, they are to see to it that wonders takes place round about your life. Wonders do what now? Takes place round about your life. Let me put it this way: that God, Amen, is the initiator of wonders. What did I say? God is. God is the initiator of wonders. Amen. Angels are the enablers of wonders. What did I say? Angels are. Angels are the enablers of wonders. And you and I, child of God, as the recipient of these wonders. Three levels, right? Am I right? I praise the mighty name of the Lord. Who, who initiates wonders? God initiates wonders. Amen. Who are the people, all right? Who are the people that assist to it that these wonders, amen, are being enabled, takes place? Who are they? Angels. Angels are enablers. Angels are what? Enablers. They are facilitators. They are to see to it that those wonders take place. Who are the ones to take these wonders? You and I praise the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. I know we are so we are so we are so no, we are, I mean we are so used to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, but hear this church. God still has another being to see to it that you are well covered round about. To see to it that every area of your life is well secured. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. While you glorify God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are not supposed to glorify angels. We're going to see that we saw that the last time when we are here. Amen. So because angels are not the angels are not the initiator. What are angels? Angels are messengers. They are just what enablers. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are tremendously blessed in Jesus' name. So we humans are recipients. We are the one that takes the miracle in our life. We are the one that, ex that experience, all right, the, the wonders that these angels deliver to us. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let your amen thunder. Hallelujah. So let's pray a little bit deeper now. Praise the name of the Lord. The next thing God wants us to know today is this child of God. Praise the name of God. You need to know that there are hierarchy in the realms of angels, in angelic realms. There are hierarchy. Many of us know the hierarchy in demonic realms. 
When you go to the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians open us the hierarchy in demonic realms. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me hear a victorious amen now. In demonic realm, you and I know of principalities and powers. Exactly. And every high thing that nameth itself above. All right? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that one. I'm not emphasizing that. That's why I'm not going to that. I'm, I want to emphasize the, you know, the place of hierarchy. All right? In the world of angels. In the realm of angels. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let's see two verses of scripture that will help you and I out. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16 and Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 21. Two verses of scripture. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 21. When you read these two verses of scripture as it were, you may pass by because you may not be seeing the word angels there. But these two verses of scripture opens our eyes more to the unseen realm. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. To the invisible realm, not only the visible realm. And it opens our eyes to the various realms there. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you in the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16? The Bible tells us there, For by him, that's by Jesus Christ, we saw this verse the last time. For by him, that is Jesus Christ, were all things created. For by him were all things created that were in heaven. Note that that were in heaven all things the bible tells us for by him all things were created in heaven so have the mindset of heaven and the bible says and are in the earth we know the minds we have that understanding of what happened on the earth so that you will not forget the place of heaven again the bible says again visible and invisible are you there visible and invisible and the Bible now opens our eyes to those various things. The Bible says, whether they be thrones. So note that now. The Bible says, whether or what again? Dominions or principalities or powers or things that were created by him and for him. Have, have you gotten that? Put a finger there and let's go to the book of Ephesians 1 and verse 21. Ephesians 1 and verse 21. That same verse of scripture. I wanted us to go into later on, but we are not there now. Ephesians 1 and verse 21. The scripture says, far above all, again, the word principality. Amen. In the first verse we saw, we saw principalities. The Bible used the word principality now. Amen. And the Bible used the word power here. And the other verse, verse version we saw, in the, I mean, the, the other verse, that's in the book of Colossians 1 and verse 16. The Bible used the word powers, if you are flown with me. And the Bible says, and might and dominion you see the word is singular dominion here in the book of colossians chapter 1 and verse 16 you see how many dominions the bible says and every name that is named the bible says not only in this world that's on this earth the bible says but also in that which is to come in essence the world that is yet to come so god is opening our eyes to various dimensions praise the mighty name of the lord let me hear victorious amen so from this words, I've just opened our eye to, amen, you're going to see that there is organizational structure in the name of the supernatural as you have on the earth. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear glorious amen now. Let me hear victorious amen now. I said there are what now? Organizational structure, amen, even as we have on the earth. Let's see some quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. This is word explore, amen, where the word works wonder so that you understand the scriptures more so you no longer be all right uh, tossed to and fro like those who don't have an understanding amen daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 god opens our eye to a particular kind of angel there and his name is michael the bible tells in the book of daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 are you there the bible tells us amen the bible says but the prince of the kingdom of Asher, which stood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief priests, chief prince, sorry, chief priest, prince, sorry, amen, came to help me, and I remain there with the kings of Pasha. Now, if you look at it, if you don't have an understanding of spiritual realm. You would think this verse of scripture, all right, is a mixture of physical and spiritual. But here this, this has nothing to do with the physical realm. This verse has everything to do with the spiritual realm. It has everything to do with the invisible realm. So here is, let's start now. The Bible says, 
but the prince of the kingdom of Persia is not a physical prince that has flesh and blood it is a prince in the realm of the supernatural have that at the back of your mind all right the Bible says we stood me who is the me here if you read before this verse of scripture the person speaking here is an angel so there is an angel that could not overpower the prince of the kingdom of Persia. all right so i've opened our eye to two per two beings there is a prince of the kingdom of Persia, and there is an angel amen exactly two and the bible says and that prince all right did not allow the messenger the angel to deliver his message to daniel the bible now tells us but lo who comes in here michael and the bible tells us the rank of michael what is his rank the angel told us that this individual is not just a prince but this individual or this angel is a chief prince which means if he's a chief prince who is higher the prince of the kingdom of partial or the chief priest god bless you you're not getting what i'm saying now. so the chief priest had to come to defeat amen that prince of partial exactly now so you're gonna see three realms now praise the name of the lord you're gonna see three realms from that place amen at the higher echelon from what you are saying there is a prince of there's a chief prince exactly and after that you're going to see the prince and after that you're going to see what now angels are you with me church praise the mighty name of the lord and he says if not for the chief prince that prince that demonic prince will have withstood him more than time more than that the person that stop all right the blockage of the prince of the kingdom of passion the realm of the spirit was the chief prince praise the mighty name of the lord jesus christ are you know something now right, let me hear victorious amen now so there is a backup system in the realm of the supernatural when i when when a messenger or an angel is saying all right to do some work in your life for you and i and they are unable to exercise it is because the person blocking them is of a higher rank than them negatively on the realm of the demons is that clear are you understand something now so that angel will need another higher ranker than the ones that has withstood him stopped him from delivering his the message of god to your life praise the mighty name of the lord let me hear a victorious amen let me hear a victorious amen so in essence all right at the upper echelon again you may see chief priests chief princes all right in the realm of the spirit and that i mean one of them here the bible has told us the name his name is what is michael praise the mighty name of the lord so what is the work of this chief prince what is their work their work is just to do things to say one particular thing their work is just to govern what's their work now their work is just to govern over territories their work is just to govern over territories now those of us who are following up with what's happening on the earth now all right the queen of the united kingdom has just died is that clear present i just what now i just died but you realize that after even while she was still alive amen she had delegated some of her dominion or her realm or her you know her jurisdiction to her children is that clear so you'll be hearing prince of wales so that prince of wales was it to go where is it to govern wales is that clear now praise the name of lord now you now hear duke a duke is less than a prince so he governs a smaller place Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Are you on the same thing now? That's going to realize that they, I told us the last time, the devil is not present everywhere. What makes the devil effective all the time is because he has what? Princes governing territories. Then demons who are under them. Same also, he copied it from the kingdom of God. God is everywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. But he has delegated the chief prince all right and then there are some angels that are princes in him and to me angels who are just angels who are just foot soldiers to see to it that the messages the errands that they that, that god wants them to deliver to your life and my life are well delivered praise the mighty name of the lord so where am i going to at this point in time is that amen you must realize this that there is a particular group of of angels that are this version this i mean daniel chapter 10 verse i think calls this group amen chief prince amen so let's call them chief prince in that way amen or principal chief just to understand that just for description praise the name of lord and you're going to know what about them 
amen this level or this cadre of these angels amen are there to not only govern but they do one other thing again so they govern territories then number two they are warring angels what do i call them again they are warring angels from that verse of scripture you're going to realize the angel speaking is just a messenger he does not know very well how to fight that kind of battle that will give victory do you understand so he needed a warring power or angel to help him out so there are angels that are just there amen who are warriors in their right what are they what do i call them now warriors in their right praise the mighty name of the lord now let me take you back to the book of genesis so that you understand very well when god drove adam and eve out of the garden of eden remember that sin now remember that sin now when god drove them out of the garden of angel i mean out of the garden of eden remember what god did to that garden you know what god did to that garden god placed angels remember that now and the bible told us what was in their hands there were swords what is the sword used for is to fight amen is to what is to fight praise the name of the lord that should be in chapter 3 right amen Genesis chapter 3 praise the name of the lord amen hallelujah and they, because they are there to fight in fact some extent going to realize who they are they are actually i gave us their name they are what cherubims they, what are they now and i told us the number of wings cherubims have how many if you remember last time how many remember how many how many is it six or two <laughs> i told us that's the way we are here i told us about the seraphims am i right and i told us about the cherubims amen and i told us the number of wings one has two wings one has six wings praise the name of the lord you have forgotten right praise and let me take you back to that verse of scripture to remember to remind you let's go quickly now praise the name of for those who are not here praise the name of the lord let me hear a glorious amen let me hear a victorious amen let me hear a victorious amen go to the book of isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 so the seraphims have six wings while the cherubims have two wings i've given the answer already look at the book of isaiah chapter 6 isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 are you there are you there let's read together everybody let's read together so that you have understanding better one to go the bible says in the year that king Hosea died what happened i saw the lord i'm not hearing your voice hi and hi and i saw the lord seated upon the throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple verse 2 the scripture says in verse 2 above each dude that is it what is this one called Call their name again seraphims and the bible says each one has how many six wings and the bible says with twin that is two wings bible says he covered his what his face and then with another two he covers his feet and then with the other two what does he do now he flies so that is it praise the mighty name of Allah. what was this one what was he saying and one cried all right one cry unto another and what were they saying holy holy that's what they do is the lord of hosts the whole earth is filled of his glory but when you go to the book of genesis chapter 3 i think verse 20 right 24 verse 24 let's go to verse 24 go let's go to verse 24 genesis chapter 3 verse 24 genesis chapter 3 verse 24 are you there now are you in the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 24 are you getting some truth tonight and the bible says and so he did what he drove he drove out he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of eden called the name called the name cherubims and what happened and the bible says and a flaming sword which turns every way a flame the flame can cover 360 degrees and the bible says to do what to keep the way of the tree of life necessary to keep everybody out of that place so this this two rep these two these two all right are at that realm are you understand what i'm saying now praise the mighty name of the lord they are warring angels what do i call them now they are warring angels that's why you use the word they are ark god bless you you're not getting where we are going to they are archangels they are archangels praise the mighty name of the lord what are they 
What are they? They are archangels. And I told us their responsibility is to do what? To govern over territories and over other angels. And then to see to it that victory is won. When Lucifer stood up, all right, to take the throne of our king and God, that no man crowned king but his king himself, amen, God never stood up to throw a, an iota of stone, amen. It is this category of angels that defeated Lucifer and one third of the angels who became demons. Is that clear? Praise the name of the Lord. Let me hear a victorious amen. I don't forget I told us the last time that only one third of the angels followed the devil two thoughts are still there and no somebody is not saying if two thoughts are dead then that means the ratio um one to one to two or what is actually yes one to three one to two but don't forget this god is the creator of angels that does not mean he has stopped creating angels that does not mean so it's a devil that cannot create more demons you see the same one using all over and over i see glory in your life in the name of jesus Praise the mighty name of the Lord. So that's the, at the realm of it. The highest realm are the archangels. Amen. The chief princes. Then after them, child of God, are the ones that minister to you and I. We saw in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1 and verse 14. Hebrews, chapter 1 and verse 14. What, the, what are these ones called? Ministering angels. Hebrews, chapter 1 and verse 14, calls them ministering spirits. The Bible says, and are they not all ministry spirit? What are they supposed to do now? Send forth to minister to them that shall be heirs of salvation. They are the one, amen, that to see to it that you and I give our life to Jesus Christ. They are the ones who convince us to see to it that we are born again. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. They are the ones to see to it that the work of redemption matters to you and I so while the holy ghost is convicting you of sin and of righteousness what are the angels doing also now they are to minister and tell you child of god or i'm a son of god come on stay with jesus stay with jesus that's why when you and i give our life to the lord jesus christ god tells us what happened in heaven what? Oh my, there is what there is joy in heaven what are those rejoicing these angels that have fulfilled their mission ah thank god this, this person that god has sent me to to see to it that he stops drinking he stopped humanizing has not said jesus I, i'll fulfill my projects i'll fulfill my ministry in his life so the bible tells us what they are to do they are to minister to those of us who are what the sons or heirs of salvation they are just there that's why i put on believers that's why their life is very vulnerable because they don't have angels to keep ministering to them celebrate jesus because you have angels ministering to you Can you tell your neighbor I'm not alone? So I have got the Father, I have got the Son, I have got the Holy Spirit, and I have angels to minister to me. That's why you are not permitted to be discouraged as a child of God. Because angels are always there ministering to you and I. Let me an amen now. Talking about ministering to you and I. Remember that time again when Jacob was fleeing from his brother Esau. Remember that time? When Jacob was free from his brother Esau, and he got to a place whereby he was tied over the night, and you know he saw a stone and he used it as a stone as a pillow to sleep. I remember the dream he had. Remember that dream he had. The Bible told us that he saw what and what angels ascending and this. That was the most vulnerable part of his life. But angels were ministering to him that night. That night they were ministering to him, and he woke up in the morning and he said, "What? What? I never knew this is the house of God." And what did he do at that point in time? Strength came. He prayed and he said, God, if you can bring back my father's house, this very place, I will make this place your house. And the Bible told us that the stone he used as a pillow, he anointed it and he said, God, I pray today, I've given up, but I am hanging on you with this vow. Amen and amen. So angels are there to do what and what? To minister to. They are always ascending and descending. Always ascending, descending. Always ascending, descending. Come and say, I have angels ministering to me. May you have ears to hear. May you have eyes to see them. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. If not that he slept at that point, he would not have witnessed that strange encounter. He would never have known that angels were ministering. He will feel that he was alone. He will feel as if he was been abandoned. In praise the name of the Lord. And you see, because of that prayer he prayed, the prayer he prayed is that means looks like the one I opened our eyes in the book of Psalm. Amen. They were the angels were not just there to protect him, but to order his steps. And he said, God, if you can take me to this strange land and bring me back, his steps were ordered to come back home. His steps were ordered to come back home. I say victory in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. 
let your amen thunder. If you're going to realize that every to a larger to a larger extent, all the major transforming points in the life of Jacob had angelic encounter. That I've just told us one of it, and the time when his name was changed to an angelic encounter. Is that clear? And the Bible told us he did what? He wrestled with an angel. And the angel says, It's my time, I cannot be in this place any longer. And he said, If you don't bless me, so the angel had no choice but to deliver the message instantly. Praise the name of the Lord. You and I need to experience angelic encounter for a transformation in our life in the name of Jesus. Stop remembering the pressing of the devil of your life over the night. I've been hearing this over and over. Many Christians are saying, they are pressing me. Where are your angels? Why? What, what's your angel doing when a demon is pressing you? Why? Why can't you preach at night when the angels are there for you as a child of God? If an unbeliever say, I'm being pressed, I'm being subdued, I can understand because he has no what? He has no angels. But you and I have that. Praise the name of the Lord. The witches from your father's house have, right, have no right over you any longer. Because you have what now? You have angels. The Bible tells us, when the enemy shall come in one way, they shall flee in how many ways? Because you have what now? Angels. Warring angels to war your behalf, to minister unto your life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. When you lack words, when you lack vision, the angels are there to encourage you, to strengthen you. That's what it means to minister unto you, to be a servant unto you. Let me hear a victorious amen. Then the third groups of angels, all right, are the ones I call the leaders of worship. What do I call them now? Leaders of worship. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. What do I call them now? Leaders of worship. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. They are the ones who see to it that the worship before God ascends to before his presence. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Remember the book of, of uh, Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. Amen. Verse 8. Amen. And Revelation chapter 8 from verse 4 downwards. Where the prayer of the saints are now being taken like a sweet smelling sour before God. Who does that? Angels. Angels are there to see that our prayers, angels are the 24 elders, are there to see that our prayers ascend before God at all times. Let me hear a glorious amen now. So, in that sense, your, your prayer being ascended to God is not a magnet pulling it. The 24 elders are, and the angels are seen to that your prayer gets to God. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. That's why it's not permitted for you as a believer to say that I am praying under a closed heaven. It's not permitted. It's not what? The heavens over your head is open. And I see God hearing your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. 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 Hallelujah. I, I want to open our eyes to some of this a little bit again. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. While talking about the hierarchies, all right, of angels, it is believed, it is believed that are about, as I told, I broke into three, right? Three realms. Praise the name of the Lord. It is believed that many times when we pray, you know, when we are praying against prince, I mean, when we are praying in the praying against the works of the devil, I hear us pray prayer like every principality and power. You may be surprised to realize that some principalities are not actually negative. Shall I prove it to you? The same way you are saying all principality and call the other word. When you say power, are all powers negative? No. So, understand that there are some principalities that are not negative. Exactly. They are there, they are principalities to see to it that the works of God are fulfilled in your life. Or let me put it this way, there are some powers, all right, in realms of angels to see to it that the work of God in your life are fulfilled. Do you understand? So, principalities and powers must not be limited to the negatives alone. The way you say power in God, amen, it's the same way you also use the power in the devil. Exactly. I see you walk in dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'll be talking about that some other time in Jesus' name. Let me hear victorious amen. The next thing you're going to realize that once you know that angels have hierarchies, then you must know that angels have the power to influence. What do they have the power to do now? That's why I use the word enablers. They have the power to do what now? Influence. This time around to influence nations. To influence nations. To influence nations, to influence nations, to influence nations. Angels have the ability to do what now? To influence nations. As we read earlier on the book of Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13. Amen. We read that earlier. The Bible says, But, amen, the prince of where? 
the prince of the kingdom of Pasha. So if the Bible used the word, but the prince of the kingdom of Pasha, what is that prince doing? The prince of the kingdom of Pasha was doing what? Was influencing the then world, which is called Pasha. Is that clear? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The same way here, this church, the same way, like say in Nigeria now, in Nigeria now, amen. A government is on, and weak believers are not enjoying the results of that government, exactly. Or the economy of the country is going down. If you only look at it, the realm of the physical, you are missing it. You must know that there are what influencers in the realm of the spirit influencing leadership to take wrong decision against the nation. Now, you understand what I'm saying? Hello? Do you understand? Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. The same way Herod hearing about Jesus Christ was just told. The wise men were just passing by and he don't know where Jesus Christ was. Remember that scene now? He didn't know. And then the wise man said, okay, maybe this one, 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 one will get to the land. The king should know that a king has been born. So they go over to the palace to ask. And Herod now said, please go and find her. And they looked into the books and they find her is true. A king is supposed to be born at this time like at the time like that, at this at the time like now. And what did um, Herod do? What did he do now? He gave an instruction that what must happen happen. All the male child from zero to three years should be what? Should be killed. Who influenced that mindset? It is the prince over the land. It's the prince. That's why you and I, church, amen, we must learn to pray for the leadership of our community, leadership of our land, so that the prince of the kingdom, the demonic prince of the kingdom of Nigeria, of plateau state amen must be bound in the name of jesus let your amen thunder let your amen thunder let your amen thunder let your amen thunder praise the name of the lord i know i'm on air but let me say this how many of i was quite surprised just main market was destroyed about 20 years ago am i right about 20 years ago now am i right and the pre, i mean past governors did not do anything about it then all of us have been happy a governor will come he's going to do something and this present governor said i'm going to do something about it how many of us heard about that case? And the present governor said, I will go to an Islamic bank to borrow money. Exactly. I will give that Islamic bank the right to build that bank and to build the market. And it will be theirs for a particular number of years. How many? For, eh? Again? I want to say, it. how many? Thank you. 40, 40 years. And do you know when that was happening? Many of us never knew what that was happening. Who would have influenced it? It is the prince saying that the attack of Islam in the land is not over. I'm still going to fight. I still want this land. And the governor being not a nonchalant person, not sensing. Alright? The powers ministering that, he did not. Thank God that some people heard about it. Exactly. Thank God that those who heard about it told their senator who had to be, to be the youngest senator Plato State will ever have. I know what he did. He went to the court and he stopped it. If he had not stopped it, you and I would have been seeing that main market built and who will be collecting the money. Not only will the money be collected, who will later on You understand what I'm saying now? You get where I'm going to now? That's why you must be sensitive. You must be very, very, very sensitive. That's why you see the government never have any feeling about him being the spokesperson for a Muslim Muslim ticket. There was no feeling, you know. So you should understand that the sensitivity to sense the move was not just there. It's not just there. Unlike the governor we had the last time, he was on the other side. Exactly. Are you with me, church? Amen. You, the governor before him was a different person. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. He had a godly mindset. Godly, that's the reason why he found out that Islam were against him totally. Because he knew the powers that governs over territories. 
and he knows that very well that the powers that governs over territories never want the liberations of the sons and daughters of God always wanting all right the bondage of the land to be rolled over to them so what am I trying to say amen the same way demons can influence so also when a governor a president a chairman releases himself to you Jehovah God well, who will influence him God with angels will be used by God to influence him. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. That's going to find out that nations are fear, all right, are governed by that. Let me give you a good example again. Eh? Praise the name of the Lord. The, the fight between Russia and Ukraine, who influenced it? Who influenced it? It's still the same thing. The prince over that realm. Amen. Praise the, Ukraine has been there all these years. In fact, they speak the same language. In fact, the language Ukrainians speak, hear this, is a Russian language. They don't speak their own mother language. Are you, are you hearing me? But praise the name of the Lord. Then all of a sudden they say, ah, how can we have a land? And we are speaking the language of Russia. We want to now begin to speak. That is just it. That's all. All the fight you are seeing, that's just all about. So that's why you and I must keep praying. That's why I pity Christians who say there is nothing about Muslim Muslim ticket. You have lost it. Who ministers to that person? Is it God? Who ministers? Who ministers? And that's why I'm also very, very painful. I mean, I'm pain when I see a Christian leader, a Christian leader who does not sense God, like the one I've just given an example of. It happened in Kaduna some years ago also. Kaduna has been ruled by Muslims all along. And then miraculously, God just brought in a Christian to become governor. And he was not conscious of his rights. You know what happened? He died in that office. The person who took out from him was the Muslim. They have not recovered from now till now. So being a Christian, you must become sensitive to the influence of angels. That's my emphasis. You must become what now? Sensitive. It will determine the way you think. It will influence the steps you are taking. Exactly now. The things that you're supposed to take serious. Angels will help you to make them see them serious. Amen. The ones you're supposed to take very serious. They will help you. But if you are a nonchalant person, you will not get the influence of angels in that realm. I see becoming sensitive to that realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me hear a victorious amen. My em emphasis here is that in praise the name of the Lord, you must sense the presence of the prince over the area you are. Amen. The, the presence of that prince, whether a demonic presence or an angelic presence, they tell me what you are going to see in that land. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, while I was, in those days when I used to travel crisscross, all right, as a man of God in the ministry I was before, from state to state, once I enter a state, I don't look at the building or the structure. I become sensitive to the prince of that environment. The, the prince of that city. Exactly. The prince of that town. I become sensitive. It is the prince, whether demonic or angelic, that will determine what the leaders in that land will do. Same also in your family. I see victory in your life in the name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Then number three, tell of God, I said this earlier on. Let me say emphasize that, amen. You must allow angels not only to influence you, amen. You must allow angels to fulfill or to bring to pass the message, message, sorry, that God has have them to deliver for you. Don't forget this, that the primary... That angel. Why? 
God has delivered the message to Daniel so that the children of uh, Israel who are in bondage will be let free, will be set free. Praise the Lord. Let me hear a glorious amen. So here it is. The message that God gives to them, to angels, is for the propagation of his kingdom on the earth. They will never do anything that works against the expansion of his kingdom. So when you are expecting angels to protect you, don't expect them to protect you when you are doing something negative. Hello? Do you understand what I'm going to now? Don't expect them to protect you. All right? When you are doing something sinful, they will not because it is not going to expand the kingdom of God. They will only protect you. They will only bring the message that will expand the kingdom of God. Sometimes that's why we find out that when lives are difficult for you, then it seems as if there are no assistance from angels to give you a support. Find out whether what you are doing is in line with God's plan for your life. Let me hear a glorious amen now. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. A good example is find the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 8. Act of Apostles chapter 8. Act of Apostles chapter 8. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear a glorious amen. This is talking about Philip. Act of Apostles chapter 8. Talking about Philip. How an angel had to tell Philip quickly, you are needed to go deliver an, a message. Is that clear? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 8 verse 26. The Bible says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, what was what he said on the unto Philip? Saying, Arise and go towards the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem to where? To Gaza. And do what? Which is the desert. Which is the desert. Amen. What did the angel do here? The angel told Philip to leave where he was to go to another place. Leave where he was to go to another place. The angel will not make Philip go there if the message is not for the expansion of God's work. So I'm trying to tell you as I said earlier on, amen, if all your agenda is to fix God's program for your life, what will angels do for you? They will assist you to fulfilling it. They will back you up to fulfilling it. If, if your life becomes a challenge when what you want to do does not have God inside. It's not God oriented. Once it is God oriented, there will be advancement. Let me hear an amen now. Let me hear an, an, an amen now. Let me hear a victorious amen now. Let me hear a victorious amen now. That was the same thing that happened in the house of Colonius. It was an angel that intervened on behalf of Colonius because the work of God must expand to the Gentiles. The work of God must ex do what now? Expand. So, the word I'm living with you at this point is this. Make sure that everything you want to do aligns with what? With God's plan for your life and it's about the expansion of his kingdom. When it's about the expansion of his kingdom, angels will enable you to fulfill them. What will angels do now? Enable you to fulfill them. Look at the book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. Galatians 1 and verse 8. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. Are you there? Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. The Bible says, But what? But though we are an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let such an angel be what? A curse. In essence, what the angel is to do is to preach the right message. The angel will not preach what? A negative message. Now, this is a word for as many who are into this, um, I, I used to say it once in a while, Church of the Latter-day Saints, Mormons. You know that now. All right? The founder of that church, his name is um, Will Smith. Something well, Smith. I can't remember his other name, but something Smith. And he said, an angel came and gave him another book apart from the Bible. The Bible tells us in the book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 8, if an angel comes, even from heaven, even from heaven and he gives you a different message than the one we are preaching to you now let that angel be what a curse as i told us the last time amen the same angel praise the name of the lord this is this is with serious humility the same angel all right that is telling some churches to worship them them worship angel such an angel that gave them that message is a what it's a curse it's a curse 
When somebody is saying, be saying angel Michael, angel Gabriel, angel Michael, angel Gabriel, it's wrong. Such an angel giving that ministration is a what? It's cursed. If anybody, if any angel from heaven says, I can, I can see an angel now, and he's giving me a new message, such an angel is a what? It's cursed. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. The only message they have is for the propagation of the kingdom of Jesus Christ and nothing else. Amen and amen. They are not looking for social manship. They are okay with the lordship of Jesus in your life and my life. Let me hear victorious amen now. And I see victory in your life in Jesus' name. I see victory in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me end up with this. Another truth tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Apart from the delivery of messages that angels are given to all of, uh, to do in our life, you must allow them to fully guide your life. Angels are, guide, are given to us to guide our life. They are guidance to our life. Amen. They are made to watch over us. They are made to do what now? Watch over us. I gave us that, that verse earlier on in the book of Psalms. Psalm 91 verse 11 and verse 12. 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 Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Amen and amen. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 11 and verse 12, verse 12 the Bible says, For he shall do what? Give his angels, angels charge over thee to do what? To keep thee in all thy ways. Verse 12, verse 12. The Bible says, They, who are the they? The angels, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So their watch is to protect you. When the Bible says that they will make sure, all right, that they bear thee in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone, he's talking about here this now advancement in life. Exactly that angels are to see to it that your life advances when you dash your feet against the stone it actually means you stumble and fall it's talking about stagnation angels are to see to it that your life never experience stagnation never experience stagnation angels are to see to it that your life moves forward Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Angels are to see that your life moves forward. May you allow them to see, to, may you cooperate with, with them for the advancement of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me hear victorious amen. Let me hear victorious amen. That's what the Bible tells us in verse 4 of the same passage. Psalm 91, look at verse 4. Verse 4, look at what angels do. Amen in verse 4, verse 4, verse 4. The Bible says, what will you now? He shall cover thee with his, who has feathers? Is it God? Angels, he shall cover thee with his feather, and the Bible says, and under his wings shall you trust, and the Bible says, his truths shall be thy shield and buckler. May you allow angels to give you full cover in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. Whenever we undertake our cover ourselves, we are not allowing angels to give us a full cover. Makalabashi. Do you understand what I'm saying now? When you go to get charms yourself, is that clear? When you go to a Shen man, a Babalao, a Malam, a native to get charm yourself, what have you just done? You have rendered the angels in your life useless. You have told them that I don't need you to work in my life. Is that clear? You are bringing in a demonic help to give you a cover. So that's why it's high time for you now to begin to tell yourself over and over. I will allow angels to give me full cover. To give me what? I see you allowing angels to walk in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear a glorious amen. Let me hear a glorious amen now. Now you must notice at this point in time that the angels assigned to your life, all right? The angel assigned to your life is not one from that passage. The Bible used the word, they shall. They shall. They shall, they shall, they shall, not one. Praise the name of the Lord. So, angels, there are numerous angels covering your life up for, vic for victories in life. There are numbers of angels seen to it that you get to the place of your destination in the mighty name of Jesus. May you become a man and woman of boldness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. May you begin to be conscious, become conscious of the full cover you have in God in Jesus' name. 
Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me hear victorious amen. That when you are traveling or you are going from one location to the other, may you become conscious of the fact that it's not that vehicle that is protecting you. It's not the seat belt that is protecting you, but it is God that is protecting you by day, by night in Jesus' name. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. That when you go back to bed at night to sleep and there is no light, may you become conscious of the fact that the angels around about you don't need nepal light. Don't need electricity to cover you up in the name of Jesus. May you become conscious of the protection protective cover that God has given to you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. Allow me to say this, child of God, when you allow angels to give you a cover, amen, and your life is attacked, who will stand? Who will God deal with? The angels of your life. The angels, and they cannot stand that. So they, they risk all what they have to give you a cover. May you begin to dwell in the fullness of God in your life in Jesus' name. May you allow the ministry of angels to fully work in everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Jump upon your foot in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands before the Lord and declare this after me. I become conscious of angels than demons. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. I become more conscious of angels than demons. Open your mouth and pray in the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I become more conscious of angels than demons. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I become more conscious of angels than demons. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Lord. I become more conscious of angels than demons. In the name of Jesus. Raka palatea dikizuta. Reke balida baya kalabosa. Reke sele de bala. Raka paya katilibosa. Raka paladilebo. Makatala rabaya kizola. Rapreke taladaba. Raka palata la katia. Reke paya da boshoto. Open your mouth and pray. I become more conscious of angels than demons. I become more conscious of my protection than my vulnerability in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Yeke zoto preke zaleke boshiti. Reke balenga zele katolo prokolo boshit. Reke balenga leke zalakoto. Reke balenga zalato kozo. Reke balenga zele da kaloko boshiti. Open your mouth and pray. I become more conscious in the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm of the ministry of angels uh, than the attack from the pit of hell. Uh, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Ya ketele kosotore la katale kito bali raka pali ma ketele kizalo kopala raka palato boto shikia raka ketele to bolo raka palato sotole. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up those hands before the throne of God and declare after me. Say, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. I allow. Come on, say, I allow angels. To fulfill their ministry in my life in the name of Jesus. So, Holy Spirit, I allow angels to fulfill their ministry in my life. Open your mouth and pray. 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 I allow angels. I allow angels to fulfill their ministry in my life. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be canal. I refuse to look at things in the realm of the physical. I refuse to work against the works. I mean the ministry of angels in my life. I allow angels to fulfill their ministry in my life. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I allow angels to fulfill their ministry in my life. Open your mouth in the name of the Lord. By day, by night, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray same over your sons, your daughters, your husband, your wife? In the name of Jesus Christ, over everything that concerns you. His word says, give his angels charge over you that you will not dash your feet against the stone. Uh, they will bear you in their wings uh, under, the, under, under their feathers will you be, co will you be covered uh, open your mouth and pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ uh, I will no longer resist their ministry in the name of Jesus I will no longer resist their ministry in the name of Jesus Christ I become sensitive I become sensitive in the mighty name of 
blood I become sensitive in the name of Jesus I become alert in the name of Jesus thank you Father Lord in Jesus madness name we pray lift up your hand there's a prayer we pray last time when we are here under this same teaching amen and amen hallelujah a man of God prayed that into my life and I witnessed the miracle and I pray this becomes your own encounter in the name of Jesus Christ lift up those hands lift up those hands by the spirit of the most high God you will see angels you will see angels in the name of Jesus with your eyes you will see angels in the name of Jesus in their glory you will see angels not once but several times in your life in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus you will hear angels speak to you you will hear angels speak to you physically as you are hearing my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus if men of old saw angels those in the New Testament saw angels Philip saw angels I declare unto your life right now see angels see angels see angels in their bodily form in the mighty name of Jesus have an encounter an angelic encounter in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus thank you heavenly father blessed be your holy name from today I declare that the ministries of angels in your life will take full way will have their full way will have their full way in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus angels that have been decapacitated because of, of your care right now we see them being empowered we see them being empowered to take full force take full form manifest more than demons more than witches more than witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus over your home over your business over your health in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I see angels remove that tissue corrupt tissue in your body in the name of Jesus I see them as 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 I see them as doctors or Operating your system, removing what's supposed not to be in your life. In the name of Jesus, giving you new body organs, giving you new body organs, new blood, new eyes, new legs, new legs, new organs, new hearts, new kidney. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, what you don't want to see, your marriage, you see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Two more amen. One more amen. Spark a glorious fire. Lift up your givings before the Lord, which is your offering and your tithe. Lift them up before the Lord. Allah When you give to the Lord, you open for the windows of heaven to pour forth a blessing over your life. By the Spirit of the Most High God. This giving you are given right now in the name of Jesus will open the windows of heaven for prosperity, for wealth, for increase, for victory, for safety, for favor in your life. In the name of Jesus. I speak a word of victory to titans, those who are titan. And I prophesy into your life that your finances will not deteriorate. Instead, it will increase, increase in the name of Jesus. Increase, increase, no devourer in the name of Jesus. By your tithe, I declare no more devourer, no more wasters in the name of Jesus. What you are giving to God is your spiritual insurance. And I see it, I see you experience premium cover in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, matless name of prayer. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. God bless you. The basket is coming on your right and on your left in the basket. Please cast your offerings there in the name of Jesus. And if you are watching online now in the name of the Lord, or you are in church, please you can give your tithe and your offering digitally right now. And the same prophetic word that you have just heard will take place in your life right away in the name of Jesus. And very soon, right from this moment, you're going to share testimonies in Jesus' name. God bless you. So cast your offerings in Jesus' name. Cast your tithe in the basket or give them digitally through the account on the screen in the name of Jesus Christ. You are tremendously blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, the basket is coming close to you. Cast your offerings there in the name of Jesus. You are tremendously blessed. You are tremendously, you are tremendously blessed. 
Jesus name we pray please don't forget this Friday we are coming to pray and it is warfare front amen let's come and be in the warfare front and win victories in the realm of the spirit you are tremendously blessed in Jesus name lift up those hands before the most high God as you leave this place I declare your evening is blessed your night is blessed in the name of Jesus there is a good news you have been waiting for I declare that good news to appear in the name of Jesus I command that good news to appear in the name of Jesus no more will it linger in the mighty name of Jesus I declare safety over your home and everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus as you go home I see the Holy Ghost expand this word you have just heard and I see you work in the fullness and the liberty of this word in the name of Jesus your home is blessed and everything that concerns you blessed in the name of Jesus is well with you Jesus matless name of prayer let your amen thunder let your amen thunder I say let your amen thunder declare after me say this September is my superlative season it's my superlative season for governmental reality for governmental reality so be it in your life in the name of Jesus first Peter chapter 2 and verse 9 we are a chosen race a royal priesthood a dedicated nation God's own purchased people to set forth the wonderful deeds and to display the virtues and the perfection of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Lift up those hands. As you leave this place in the name of Jesus, go and experience royalty. Go and enjoy royalty in his full way. Go and enjoy royalty. Go and expand royalty in the name of Jesus. For I reign as a priest and a king and crown with glory, honor, and a royal diadem in 2022. Lift up your hands by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives.